Hey everybody, so this is week 12 update after Barley's TPLO surgery on her back left leg. The, uh, the white knee you see sticking up there. Really, it's gone well. So I have not had any issues at this point in the last week with uh, what I've seen Barley doing. She's been uh, basically improving week on week and almost back to normal at this point which is what they say week 12 should include. Basically back to normal dog behavior and so forth. I want to take a quick couple of minutes just to go through things that I found to be very helpful in this entire ordeal. Um, ordeal is the right word for it. And point out a couple of things that you probably want to make sure you have before uh, the whole surgery goes down. So first things first, uh, have some sort of cage that you can set up and, and, and pen the dog in. So you'll want to create an area where the dog is cordoned off and can't get out of. That being said, my dog escaped two or three times from there. Um, dogs will be dogs. She does not like thunder. So, uh, at any rate, yeah, um, have one of those available to you so you can set it up. Uh, we had a little four by eight in the corner here uh, that she could walk around or jump around in and, and sit down and be comfortable. Other things that are going to be helpful are a sling. So you can use an old t-shirt, an old towel. I picked one of them up from online. You already use it for about the first week or two, and really it's just to uh, go underneath the dog's back end, uh, their abdomen basically, uh, to help guide them uh, as they walk, especially over stairs. So you don't want them to be tripping or anything like that. You want to be able to catch them uh, before they accidentally put too much pressure on the leg that had the surgery. Other things that were useful, um, I ended up getting a legging because she was like, she was having trouble sleeping with the cone on. Um, this is what the legging is that we got for Barley. I don't recommend it. So that was not a useful purchase. Uh, it basically ended up irritating the sutures that were in the leg which then made her lick her leg. And yeah, it's a no-no. The cone of shame that she came from the vet with uh, was basically just plastic tied off with a little bit of um, stretchy fabric, I guess. Uh, it, it was too tough in my mind and dug into her neck. She didn't like it, it was a little bit too heavy. Uh, so we went back to this little one. Uh, this is one that I think I picked up from Petco, I want to say, maybe. Anyways, it's it's super cheap. It is the one the dog has used since she was a puppy-ish, slightly bigger than a puppy. And yeah, it's the right one for her. It's easy to get on and off. It's got the vinyl around the neck. It's lightweight. Those are the key. And it keeps her from licking. Boy, that dog's tired. Uh, I do have one of the comfy cones, so sort of a fabric-based one with Velcro and something inside it to keep it rigid. Uh, it's just too bulky. Uh, put it on the dog and she just doesn't move. It's like, there's something wrong. I don't know what's on me. I'm not going to move. The other thing I'll mention, what else is good? Uh... Having a lead, so when you're taking them outside, that is really easy to get on and off. They're not going to pull. They know that they can't go anywhere. Uh, it's just really to make sure that if they try, you have full control over them. And yeah, you'll want it to be something that's fast to come on and off. Because for basically six to eight weeks, you're taking the dog out every day 
uh, when you need to. And if you're like me and you've got a fenced in backyard, you're used to just letting the dog out. It's a different effort. Other very helpful things. I would say uh, definitely follow the pain medication schedule from the doctor. Uh, it helped kept keep Barley uh, sedated, which was very, very helpful. When we went for our checkup, uh, I noted that, hey, you know, we had run out of one of them and that I'd like to get a refill because she's showing more pain. And uh, that was true. She was more awake. She was showing more pain. Uh, so the vet prescribed us some more, which is fantastic. Uh, and that really helped keep her calm, keep her sedated, and allowed for the healing to occur. Barley's a basically a a, a pointer type dog, so she's a a go getter type hound. And yeah, you can't stop a dog like that if you even if you try. Um, so having something that helps keep them calm was very beneficial. The other thing that I'll mention is I did sleep down here with the dog. So when I set up her, her pen in the corner, I had the mattress down here uh, from day one through about probably week three, week four, thereabouts. And that was beneficial for the dog, also for myself. I also set up a little uh, wise camera, so a really cheap camera, just to keep an eye on the dog when I was at the other end of the house doing work. And of course, uh, other things that are very beneficial, just having people you can talk to about this. Um, I looked up all sorts of videos online to see what I was in for. Uh, it was overwhelming to see day one, day two, day three, week one, week two, and so forth, uh, to be honest. And uh, made me consider not doing it. But at the end of the day, you can see here the dog is... Well, the dog is tired here, but the end result is, is fantastic. So I have no issues having done it for the dog. Other things I'll mention, um, there is a chance that the appetite will be reduced, especially right after surgery. So things like um, frozen peas, uh, just a few on top of her food, help her eat. Uh, things like um, pumpkin puree again help the dog eat uh, so keep that in mind probably have those on hand if you can uh, a couple of weeks later uh, started some joint therapy stuff so I've got some fish oil type items that go on her food um, they're actually fish oil those are the, the things that help with joints and so forth so um, yeah, that's, that's been helpful. Definitely. I think that's helped her go faster. If anything, it's made her coat a little bit softer. And then of course, uh, a couple of ice packs, uh, that are, you know, those gel ice packs and a warm compress as well. So I had a, I had a neck item, uh, neck compress that is microwavable. It's full of those little beans and so forth. And that was fantastic. I could wrap it around the dog's leg. And then, of course, just follow the vet's instructions. Talk to people. It'll, it'll go. Dog will be happy. And so will you. So I hope that helps. I hope that rundown of these items gives you some insights into what we did. And if Barley wants to get up and go see a squirrel. Nope, she won't. Anyways, I hope that helps, and if you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Take care.